Hey, um, just recently, somebody was getting at me. I mean, she hollered like, "What's up? What's happening?" Scared me. Especially when I went to her page and come to this conclusion that this person is no older than 17. Um, I don't know how many of my videos you've seen, but I'm a family man. I'm married. There's nothing in life that will make me even want to think about touching a 17-year-old girl. Oh, wait. That's a lie. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you the only reason I touch a 17-year-old girl. Nuclear bomb just went off. I got all the technology in the world, and I find out that we're the only two people left on the planet. Then, then you might got a shot. But then I'm still going to wait at least 24 months. <laughs> um, life itself is a wonderful thing. If you found it in yourself to like me for whatever repairing reason, I'm, I'm truly flattered. But, um, I'm like that expensive car. You can't afford me. I cannot be obtained easily. Um, there's several reasons why I won't entertain the fact. I won't follow up on your request. One is, I'm married. And I'm very much in love with the woman I'm married. Because if I wasn't in love with her, we would not have been married three times. Every couple of years we do another ceremony. Because at the beginning of the relationship, I was like a dog. Always sniffing another ass. Now I'm a grown ass man. I don't want no other dog sniffing my ass, so I'm cool. But thank you. As old and as dusty as I look, and Yes, I'm flattered. I blushed when I read uh, your message. Um, but I can't do nothing with you. I'm sorry. I can't correspond with you in that manner. I'm here to enlighten young women and teach them to be respectful of themselves, their bodies, and their state of mind. If I touched you on the way up here, that wasn't in the manner in which you think I touched you. Up here. So I am flattered that you'd want to go into some chat room with me and talk to me. But I don't think the content of conversation would be at that level where we could hold a conversation period what would there be for us to talk about if your so called screen name is sexually explicit why would I go somewhere and talk on something like that knowing all that I have a stupid man will risk everything for one feeling for one moment a smart man will hide his personal life from everyone and a dummy just don't give a damn I have been stupid as a kid I've been dumb as a kid I've made bad mistakes as a kid and I completely screwed up at points as an adult now I've learned that if anything is served up, if something is offered to you, don't take everything that's offered to you because you might get something that you don't need. Don't accept something that you can't just take out in public because that might be something that you don't want. Don't serve yourself up for drama and trouble because that's not you. So I'm going to have to decline this offer to go to some chat room with you and talk to you. Um, first of all, I commented on a video 
based on everything I've seen. Yes, this was right. Yes, that was right. But the situation was wrong. The outcome of the situation brings us to this video right here. The offer, so to speak, to go to a private chat room and discuss some things with you because you're bored. I'm 40 years old and apparently you're at least 17. What can we talk about? Can we talk about school? Can we talk about politics? But I know what you want to talk about. I can't talk to you about that. I can't engage you in conversation like that. You want to talk about YouTube? We need to talk on YouTube about YouTube. I will correspond with you through YouTube about YouTube. Maybe I'm just imagining things or tooting my horn, but I don't think so. The name in which you gave me to contact you was a sexually explicit name. Coming from a 17 year old, that's not good. I'm sort of at a loss for words because I don't know how to say this without hurting somebody's feelings. So I'm just going to go ahead and try my best to say it anyway. I am an old ass man. I have a wife and children. I respect you enough not to engage in conversation like that, not just because of your age, but because you're a child. You could be 24 years old and still be a child, but you're not. You're not of legal age to even be trying to ask someone that is my age to comment with you in a chat room where your name is sexually explicit. I am truly flattered that a young girl would want to speak to my old ass. That's very flattering. It's like, <laughs> oh, I'm blushing. But well, I can't do it. All I can do is be a father figure. Someone that you might be able to ask a question with about men. I could tell you. I got nothing to lie about or hide. It's hard for me to tell a young girl that you know, I won't be there for you to speak to because I can't. If you would have came at me different, I would have corresponded with you on that friend level, that older man talking to the younger girl, guiding her away from the BS. I would have helped you maneuver through life, but you got at me. You got at me in a manner that older women get at men. And I have to respectfully decline your offer to talk to you in some chat room. Hook up your video camera and ask me a question. But private chat rooms, sexually explicit nicknames, I can't do it. Sorry. I'm not going bad. I got too much good in my life to do something stupid. Corresponding with an underage girl in a sexual conversation is dumb. And I feel saddened that since you're bored and the only thing you want to do is go into a private chat room, I feel saddened. You have a nice day. Please don't be in such a rush to grow up. So I'm going to take my ass to sleep. And my new puppy's over there sleeping and he's made me tired. I'm going to go lay down next to him and go to sleep. Don't drink a rock star at 6 in the morning. You've been tubed.